All right, kerosene. Uh, the song, it's kind of simple fundamentally, but yet there's some decisions to be made here. First of all, let me just show you what the main electric guitar riff is. It's got this E being played here on the um, ninth fret of the G string, and it's playing this melody. So you got the E to F sharp to G. And then they're droning the open D, and also an A being played on the 10th fret of the B string up here. So all together it goes like this. So that's what the electric guitar is doing. That's the dominant riff. That's what you hear most of the time. Um, but the bass under it is going D, C, D, C, so you have a, a bit of a, of a decision to make there on the acoustic part. Because now I saw a video where Miranda herself is playing an acoustic version and she's playing it like this. So that E to F sharp to G that, that the electric is playing up here, you're now playing up here on this D chord. And she's just moving it and landing on that G. So basically you have a, a D suspended fourth at that point. I don't think that's the best way to do it because um, I think when you get to that, you should lift up the first finger and you have a G chord there, but better yet, if you reach over and make this a C9, that fits with what the bass is doing at that point. So. That's how I would recommend playing it. So let me just make sure you got that. We have a D major chord. You lift up the second finger, so you have that open E, and you put it back down again. And then you go to a C9, right? So again, all together. Uh, one other option here is to actually have the fifth of the chord, uh, which is an A, move with the melody up here. So if you go E to F sharp, go G to A at the same time, and that would be like this. I don't know that they do that at all, but I thought it might be a nice touch. So let me play that again uh, up to speed. I might do it that way if I was in that position. So anyway, so that's the main riff. Um, then uh, the verse, you know, you're, you're playing um, the D, C9, the G, and then back to the riff. Okay, repeat, D, C9, G. Then the A power chord, or it could be major, to C, G, back to the riff, and then back again, cause love's given up on me. Now then the harmonica solo, you go to an A minor. So before you we were playing A major, now we're gonna play A minor, to F major, and here we're gonna go D to C, C9. And then that repeats, and then into another verse. Um, so at that point, the guitar is really, because there's a harmonica solo, the guitar is not really taking that lead ride, so it's more matching what the bass has always been doing, which is the D to C, the D to C. Um, then um, some verses, it, it kind of changes, there's variation on a theme. There's some verses where you can go, and others where you can just kind of go, It, it simplifies and there's one verse where there's a kind of a banjo and you can kind of mimic the banjo when you're on the D like Right here you go 
And all I'm doing is D, open D, D up here, do that a couple of times. And then now we're gonna hammer on G to A, go up to that D. Like. So that might be a nice little touch to throw in on that verse. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope this helps.